is all about bleaching. Um, so yeah, bleaching your face in particular, not any other parts, but it pretty much works the same way. Um, I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys would like to see a video about bleaching. I had done like a small bit about bleaching in uh, like my earlier video on how to get rid of unwanted hair and like a lot of you had like lots of comments and everyone was inquisitive about why I bleach and things like that so I thought this would be an interesting video to do so let's start with the basics what is bleach why do we use bleach bleach is basically hydrogen peroxide combined with a few things and it the reason I use it is to lighten my facial hair. Now I have a lot of peach fuzz around here. I'm going to come in closer so you guys can see this. So yeah, I've got hair along the sides, on the chin area, forehead, nose, everywhere. But it's really fine hair. It's not like thick, dark black hair. It's really fine. But if I don't bleach it, it is dark hair. And since I'm kind of pale skin, you can kind of see the hair if it's not bleached. I have never waxed, threaded or um shaved my face at all like i know this new craze is to shave your face but no i have not tried that and i think it's rather extreme um i have only bleached my face to hide the hair and it's worked really well for me like i've been doing this since i was what like maybe 13 or 14 and um yeah i haven't really seen any side effects so far uh, my skin is great i haven't had problems with bleaching so i will tell you guys about certain side effects what to use all of that but before that i want to clear one of the biggest misconceptions that surrounds bleach that it makes you look fairer or changes the color of your skin does not happen guys does not happen so the only thing bleach does is it lightens the hair so on whatever part that you put it it will lighten the hair that's it your skin is going to be the same your skin color cannot change with bleach or with anything and it's not going to make you look any fairer or lighter or any of those things it is only going to change the color of the hair that is on your skin so please be aware of that and i know a lot of people are like oh i bleach but i don't look any fairer it's not to make you look fairer it's just to uh, lighten the hair and the reason why it works for pale skin people is because you can't really see golden hair on like paler skin but if your um, skin is slightly darker then bleaching might not work for you and you might have to thread or wax or do other stuff as well uh, but yeah if you're like pale skin like me it really works to kind of hide the hair and you don't really see it and I've been doing this for years now how do we pick the right bleach so there are like tons of bleaches in the market and uh, whatever you see, whether you see natural, whether you see gold, whether you see aloe vera, whatever you see, it is all basically hydrogen peroxide at the end of the day. So don't be fooled. But some of them are milder than the other ones. So you like kind of need to try a few and figure out which one works for you. So over the years, I've used everything right from Femme to Jolene to Nature's. Like my skin reacts to all of them slightly differently. The one that I find that works best is this one, which is uh, Nature's Gold Bleach. Again, it's not natural, it's not any of those things, it is peroxide. But I feel like it's a lot milder than the other ones around. You guys saw me using this one in one of my recent vlogs because the chemist actually sent me this instead of this. I have been using this however for a few years now and um, yeah, it's been great with my skin. This was pretty much similar but I did get a little more redness than I get with this so now whether you have sensitive skin or not you want to do a test patch first with any kind of bleach so just here maybe uh, you know take a little bit of a, a patch on your hand and if you are trying it for the first time or if you're trying a new company whatever you're doing always 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 do a test patch on your wrist before you put on your face because uh, bleach tends to react differently with different people and sometimes the reaction can be really drastic like you can see a lot of redness if you leave it on for too long you can actually burn your skin um, and it can be really dry and things like that so you've got to be careful when you're using bleach because it is peroxide at the end of the day so please be aware of that I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how I apply my bleach and things like that um, which we will go into right now so are you ready? So just start with washing your face with a mild cleanser. Just don't use any scrub or anything harsh and make sure your hair is out of the way too. Now in every bleach box you will find three things. The cream, the activator and the spatula. So for my face and neck I use four spatulas of cream. Mix it with four pinches of activator powder. If you're in a rush, you can add a pinch or two more of the powder. This will actually make the whole process faster and reduce the time by about five minutes. Now make sure you mix this well. It should feel like a smooth paste. Then start applying it onto your face. 
So start with the area where you have the most amount of hair or the darkest hair. So I'm starting with my chin first. Just make sure you avoid your eyebrows and eyelashes unless you're planning to go blonde. Once you're done, just leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Now your eyes might burn a bit, your skin might tingle a little. That is totally normal. But if it's anything that's unbearable or extreme, please wash it off immediately. Now we're just going to use some cotton with water to wipe it off. So you can see that there's slight redness around the cheeks and the nose. Uh, this is pretty normal with any kind of bleach, you will get a reaction like this and it should subside in a, you know, a few minutes. If it doesn't, you can ice your face. That also kind of helps to reduce the redness. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below with any questions that you have about bleach, side effects, anything. I will make sure I answer them and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.